Hello everyone, my name is Fellow Blitz here and welcome to Jezai no Ian. I don't know how that's pronounced, but regardless of the point, the Serpent's Lust as it may be called. Now this is a particularly Japanese kind of styled game around the Edo period of the Japanese country in itself. But it contains supernatural and paranormal stories called Monogatori. Monogatari, however you want to pronounce that as well, it's in the yeah, game synopsis. But this is made by the same developer who's made The Huntress of Hollow, Flesh Child, and The Looking Glass. Now let's proceed into the game and see what we can find. Pixel Boom Games, made with RPG Maker 2003. Once long ago, there was a young woman named Agato no Manigal, who lived with her family in a small village far away from the capital. The Agata family were humble weavers, yet they enjoyed their trade very much. Manago, Man the only daughter, was extremely skilled with the trade. Her father and mother had encouraged her to focus on her craft, and because of her hard work, she did not spend much time socializing like other young women her age. As a result of this, she was pitifully ignorant of the world outside of a weaver's loom. On a doll, overcast day, Manigo had just finished running an errand for her mother. As she began her return home, the clouds split open and a torrent of rain and wind attacked her from above. Oh dear. It sounds like what outside is today in the UK. Bloody wet. Okay, movement is the arrow key. X and escape is the open menu plus cancel end, exit, sorry. And enter or Z is to examine, confirm, select choice. Pretty universal stuff, but there are new people to RPG Maker games every day, so it's good to keep going over these instructions every time. Text and dialogue, be sure to read the dialogue and any narrative elements, gather information, speak to all characters to advance the story, examining. Examine items, characters, and other objects to learn more about the story and to progress in the game. Touche. Hmm. The rain is so strong. I need to get home as soon as possible. Oh, how stupid it was of me to forget to bring an umbrella. Excuse me, is anyone home? No, we must be busy. Damn it! Hello, is anyone there? I just need to borrow an umbrella. The rain must be too loud. I don't think anyone can hear me. I might have to go find a tree or something to hide under. The rain is so strong it feels like it could drown me. Oh, who are they? Why would anyone else be out in the rain like this? Master, look. There's a girl caught in the rain. How pitiful. What are you doing out here during a storm like this? Don't you have an umbrella? Unfortunately, I don't. I was just about to find a tree to hide under until the rain clears up. Hide under a tree? Nonsense. Dear maiden, shall I escort you home? My servant has a spare umbrella for herself. So we may share the one I have now. Oh no, that won't do. I wouldn't want to be such a burden to someone of such noble stature as yourself. Don't pay me any mind. I insist. Nobility means nothing if a man cannot have a woman in distress. And you are completely drenched to the skin. Shinama... How to pronounce that name? I don't know. Get the spare umbrella. I wish to escort this fair maiden home tonight. Yes, my lord. Now, let us get out of this rain. In which direction is your house? It's to the west down this road. Very well, let us go then. We'll go. We'll go with due haste, we're to save. These lanterns. The lantern flickered brilliantly, as if fighting a battle with the rain. Ah, oh, excellent. That is how one saves the progress of the game. Ah, the cold weather has driven the villagers deep inside the house. There's no possibility of being heard over the den of the rain. 
The sound of the rain is as loud as someone's knock. Once again, thank you so much for going out of your way to escort me home. I'm so very grateful. Pay it no mind. It may be unforward of me, but I wish the walk had lasted longer. Despite the rain, the small time we spent together was wonderful. I admit I enjoyed walking with you as well, but I must not keep you any longer. I would hate to have you mistaken for a, co for a cooler. Such a noble man as yourself should not be seen with such a lowly weaver's daughter. Do not worry. I am not concerned about the thoughts of others. However, me and Shima must return home now. As a parting gift, please borrow the umbrella that we walked until tonight. Something tells me it will be quite an overcast day tomorrow. Oh no, I couldn't accept such a gracious gift. You're so kind, but I would hate to part you from your umbrella. I insist. Shima has a spare umbrella, and the thought of you in the rain without one is quite upsetting to me. Well, I, I do have spares probably, but I just forgot to get one out for this particular day. Shima, please give her the umbrella. Right away, master. Got the snake eye umbrella. Thank you, I'm incredibly grateful. Deed. Unfortunately, I must go now. Before you go, may I ask where you live? Once the rain has stopped, I will return your umbrella immediately. My home is through the forests. Ask at the east road in the village for the house of Hibigawa. No, Haki. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Good night and farewell. Good night and thank you. Looks like a servant's eye or something. That night, the thought of a nobleman in white, Hibigawa, lingered in Manago's mind, and when she fell asleep, she was greeted with a wonderful dream. In her dream, she came across a huge mountain surrounded by ancient stone lanterns. The servant, Shima, waited for her outside and escorted her in. She and the man in white spend the afternoon drinking rice wine, eating dishes, and reciting poetry. And at night, he laid with her at his pillow. Manigo awoke that morning, and to her surprise, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. That meant she had the perfect excuse to return the umbrella early. She was excited to see Master Hippigawa, the man in white, once again. She left for the east road leading out to the, uh, leading out of the village, a skip in her step. I must take this umbrella back to that man immediately. He told me to ask for his house. House. Would anyone here know the way? I guess I'll just have to ask all of the villagers where his mansion is. We're going to start from left to right. Excuse me, would you happen to know where Hibigawa house is? I'm on duty. Ask someone else. Okay, you're rude. Hibigawa house? Sorry, never heard of it. Yeah, that's a bit of an enigmatic thought of it, isn't it? Excuse me. Okay, we're going to keep repeating the same question. I'm sorry, I'm rather busy with my husband. Maybe you should try asking someone else. Sorry, I don't know what you mean at all. What do you mean? I, I'm not asking you to build a spaceship or something. I'm just asking you where a particular house is. I'm sorry, I don't know. You keep going back and forth. Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. House sounds prestigious. Do we have a place like that all the way out here? I might have heard of it, but I don't have time to talk about it. We well, are useful. I'm on duty. Ask someone else. Duty. Duty. Playing the call of duty. Here we go. House. Isn't that to be old manor out in the forest? It could be. I'm really sorry, but no, my husband might though. Here we got a house with a strange name. Who names a house after snake skin? Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know, but maybe my wife did. You both think that each other know the answer, but in fact, you just do not. Uh, here we got a house. Uh, you're on duty. 
That sounds really familiar. I think there was a house named something like that down the east road. Nice. And you. You're on duty. You're on duty too. You're on duty too. Damn it. Why is everyone on duty? Or thinking that everyone else knows the answer. But in fact they don't. I did hear an old Dymo's mansion out. So, so somewhere out there. Is that what you mean? Um, I think I heard of a trail of stone lanterns leads to a mansion just east of here through the forest. So, not many villagers know where the house is, but for what I gather, it's probably down this road through the forest. It is a little strange that nobody seems to know about it. Oh, it doesn't matter. I need to head east right away. Uh, you are Judy. Would you Judy guards go elsewhere? You're in... Okay, there you go. It's just that lantern that was in the way. What? A dimmed lantern. Because of how sat at the edge of the village. Its residents must have dealt with plenty of passing travellers. Manager decided to leave them be. Ah, stone lanterns. The prettiest ones, I must say. <gasps> Look at these trees as well. Another stone lantern. For some reason, Manigo could not remember seeing stone lanterns like these along this road before. Perhaps she simply did not pay enough attention. Or maybe the gentleman in nobility just decided, you know what, we're going to cast a spell upon her. Is this the one you're referring to? This house, the stone lantern and its siblings were dwarfed by the size of the manor. Truly. Hibaigawa House was an impressive, stately mansion. We'll save. Hmm. You are the girl my master met last night in the pouring rain, aren't you? Yes, that girl was me. I've brought Master Hibaigawa's umbrella back like I promised. Oh, I think he'll be very pleased to see you again. Please come this way. So you must be the daughter, and the master is the father. Please come right this way. Hmm. I wonder if we went to the left. Huh. Master Hag... Did I pronounce that? Quarters are just through the courtyard. Please come this way. Welcome to Hibigawa's mansion. The master is looking for you. You all don't have any eyes. It's kind of concerning. Please feel free to observe the courtyard. When you're ready, please take the doors to the north. Okay. We can deal with that. We can thoroughly deal with that. We can. We can most certainly deal with such phenomena as we go about it. You must say, though, you can... Without... Any, without with, bleh, without any sort of denial of that, um, Japanese style buildings are really beautiful, and Japanese style culture, agriculture, anything, anything and everything. Uh, just beyond these doors, the fact that they're giving me a very linear path is quite concerning. Why can't I freeway round the manor? Master, the gentlewoman has come to return the lamp umbrella, and I have led her here. She is here, then? Very well, show her the way. Please come this way. Excuse me, Master, I wanted to return your umbrella, but am I being improper? Is it rude of me to appear unannounced? Is it not? And your home is so grand, and I'm wearing such simple clothing. Perhaps I should have brought a gift to... Maybe employed an escort as well. I'm not very familiar with such things. Now that I know where you live, I will come back again with a proper um, decorum. You're not going, are you? You still have the umbrella. She, do not allow her to leave. Please don't be so reserved right this way. Why don't you want me to leave? Lady Agatha... How endearing is it to see you fright over proper conduct in the house of a noble? You are excused. Do not feel uncomfortable about it. Seeing you in the daylight, I cannot help but be struck by your beauty. 
Uh, excuse me, I do not mean to be so flippant. Please, let us sit down, I insist. It seems really forceful. I am sorry, but I don't, do not remember telling you my name, Mr. Hibigawa. Please, you may just call me Hakuja. As for your name, you mentioned you are a weaver's daughter. While there are many weavers in the village, I could tell you are Manigo, the daughter of the best weaver in the entire village. I have heard much about your family's work. How a stutter of you to observe that. I should tell my father that his name precedes, pre, precedes well? No, pre, precedes well. A man ago, may I call you that? Um, I suppose that is fine since you offered the same. I want to thank you deeply for being so trustworthy as to return my umbrella to me. Sh Shima, please retrieve the umbrella from Lady Agatha. Yes, Master. Returned the umbrella. Shima, fetch us some sake, will you? I am sure Lady Agatha would love some rice wine to calm her nerves. Right away, Master. Now that we're alone, I find it to be more intimate if we speak like equals. I see that you came without an escort. With someone as beautiful as yourself, I'm surprised you don't have a suitor. Um, well, you see, I work at the loom so much, I don't have enough time for gaining suitors. I think my family prefers it that way, too. Weaving as a profession takes a lot of time and dedication. We aren't well off, so the more work I do... I'm sorry, talking about weaving must be so boring to a noble person like yourself. Oh no, don't worry about that. You're a delight to listen to, besides... This talk of weaving reminds me that Tanabata is just tomorrow. Tanabata, the special day where we make wishes for success, riches, love. Do you have any wishes you'd like to make this year, Manigo? I completely forgot about Tanabata. But it'd be so rude of me to talk about my f wishes first. What might yours be? Truthfully, I'll be wishing for a wife. A wife? You aren't married? I was once. What happened between her and I is too painful to recall, though. All I can say is that I was left alone before I could even... So I could have even a taste of married life. Oh, I'm so very sorry to hear that. It must have been difficult for you. Yes, but now that you're here, I... Thank you very much for cutting into the conversation. Master, I have brought the sake and some dishes as well. Ah, yes, bring them here. Thank you. You may leave now. How do you feel about poetry? I think it would be fun to try and recite a ringer. Do you think you'll be able to match my verses? I might not be as equivalent as a noblewoman, but yes, let's play. This is mine. <laughs> Let's play. I hear that name every day. For some reason, don't ask. I'll certainly try my best. All right, let me begin. Temple bells die out. Oh, we can't. My temple bells have died out. <laughs> As if in a dream at Manigo and Hakuja spent the day drinking, eating, and enjoying each other's company. How lucky she felt to have gotten his attention. Manago kept thinking about how strangely wonderful it was to have met Hakuja. She had never seen him or his manner before. It was as if he suddenly appeared in her life like a ghost. And it seemed so strange that the villagers hardly knew who or what she was talking about earlier that day. Maybe because anybody who visits there gets their memory erased. Despite her suspicions, she decided he was just a recluse. Perhaps his wife had died recently. It would explain why his umbrella that night was such a forbidding white, forbidding white colour. Eventually, the merment died down and the air became thick with intimacy. She could tell he wanted to say something to her, 
But what could it be? Manago. If I died without saying anything, some poor god would have be blamed unfairly for causing my pointless demise so I will tell you I'm the son of the old Daimo of this lad he died just after my wife did with her gone I feel like I've disgraced him I've been a hermit without a family and an heir to my father's family name yet what I really want to say is from the time I've met you last night to this day we spent in bliss, I've fallen for you, Manigo. When my wife passed away, I had no reason to show my face to the world, but now you've caused me to feel what I haven't felt alone on time. Manigo, for your own sake, just bail out, just leave. You've only just met this man, and it is especially creepy to just fall in love with someone that you've only met 24 hours ago. So I ask that you become my wife, Manigo, and that we join together in blissful marriage. Marriage? Well, um, did I upset you? I should have known better than to be so forward with you. Oh no, please don't feel like you've offended me. I'm just worried for you. What good is it for a nobleman to marry a weaver? That's no benefit for you, Manigo. Your very presence is like a gift to me. I wouldn't care if you were a princess or a beggar. Well, you certainly have a way with words. I think, perhaps, I would love to be your bride. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let us toast to our future marriage. A vow of 1,000 years of love and devotion. Wait, only 1,000? Cheers. Cheers. Master Hibigawa, may I enter? What good timing, Shima. Come in. Lady Agata and I just exchanged vows of love. I wish to celebrate this occasion immediately. Go fetch that one Hikoma from my wife's Spains. That one Hikoma? Himono? Ki kimono? You don't mean for what? Oh, yes, that one. Go get it now. I didn't have time to read it because it just skipped right away. Yes, right away. Well, I think it skipped. I believe. I think. Please give it to Lady Akata Shima. Got the ivory kimono. Oh, so it's white? I hope the colour is not a problem for you. Oh no, it's lovely, honestly. I did not mean to be sound I did not mean to sound ungrateful. I would like to see you in it. Shima, please help her put it on. Of course. Lady Agatha, please follow me. What else have you got in mind, Master? Alright, lady. Let's see how you look. Oh my, that kimono looks stunning on you. Those pale plum blossoms on it complement your skin so well too. Oh my, oh well, I'm not very stunning, but thank you. Do you think Master will like how I look? Oh yes, most certainly. I think the Master has a special little game for you to play as well. He should just be outside his this room. He'll tell you want. He's like he'll tell you what he'd like you to do. Go ahead and see him. Remember this one. Manigo noticed that the screen was partially open. She realized it would be very easy to eavesdrop on people if they sat right next to it. Okay, but it was firmly... Okay, so this door over here then. I wish there was a shining lantern nearby. Oh, gosh. I wish to... Okay. I can't leave! I want to... I feel so creeped out. You look absolutely stunning, Manigo. This kimono you gave me is certainly beautiful, yes. Being coy, I see. How adorable. As my future wife, I wish to shower you in brothel gifts. I would also like if you would become familiar with your new home. So I devised a little game for you to play. Six, six of my handmaidens have been given the gifts meant for you. They will hide in the many rooms of the mansion. 
and you have to find them. Like a game of hide and seek. Oh, what fun! All this success just for me? Close your eyes and count to ten. The game will start then. When you find all six, return to me in the courtyard. One, two, three. I wish to just go back home and be a weaver. I wish to lead the normal life in the normal day everywhere. All of those gifts are so special. Be mindful to take care of them. You? True love comes not from gifts and paginality, but from the deep, delicate recesses of the human heart. You found me. I have a gift from Master for you. Gold Kanzashi. Which I have... Okay, a pair of pronged golden hairpins. Okay, okay, that's what it is. I've got to look at the description of the, um, the umbrella. This place is so big. Is it not easy to get lost in? Hmm. Are you overwhelmed by everything going on? I am overwhelmed. You found me. Look. <laughs> These things I cannot put out. Six gold coins. The amount is a little strange. Hmm. Representing the two brothers of the Sanada, probably. Uh, weaving is such a delicate art, isn't it? It is delicate. I hope you find all of these gifts soon, lady. Yeah, so one brother holds three coins while the other holds the other three coins. You found me. Pillow book. Ah, something which I can actually pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> a varnished, varnished, burnished cover book of classic poetry. Am I sure that such a gift was already given to me? So, six gifts. Uh, can I leave? I can't leave! I feel so weirded out, for goodness sakes. So weirded out by the fact that I'm just giving all these things immediately, and I've done nothing in return! You found me. Genji. What is exactly is one of these? A beautifully bound book of Heian literature. I think that's actually quite a very old part of the Japanese era. Manigo can hear faint whispers beyond the partition. Will she put her ear to the screen and listen? Yes. A weaver and a tanner birds tomorrow. I can't tell if that's adorable or just really bad taste. Hmm. Or both. It could be both. You found me. The silken... Okay, it's a, it's a fan of some sorts, I believe. Uh, a white silk hand fan with a plum blossom design. Matches the, the kimono in a way. I hope we all get to see your amazing weaving skills someday, lady. For Tanabatma, I think I will wish to improve my weaving skills. Yes, let's just put that here. Did you see her wearing that one kimono? Yes, I did. She looks so much better than in it than that corpse did. Don't you feel weirded out now? I knew this was a bad vein. You would certainly put that kimono to much better use than its previous owner. You are quite fortunate to inherit that kimono. I'm not unfortunate. I am unfortunate. Is the master really going to marry her? I don't know. She seems so plain. Sometimes plainness can have a very delicate taste to it. Just because I look like bread doesn't mean that I can't taste something delicious. Like cookies. Every maiden here is so excited for your wedding, Lady Agatha. You found me. Special gift, Juza Beads. It looks like you have all of the gifts. You should see Master. I don't want to see Master. I just want to run for the hills. I'll, I'll depart with all my gifts and my commander. I just want to be freed from this prison. 
I would also like to save at some point. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I found all of the gifts. Well done, Marigo. I hope you like them. Think of them as tokens of our love. Now we're out of the way. Marigo, it's gotten rather late in the afternoon. Would you like to stay here tonight with me? That's quite the proposal. But speaking of proposals, I think it would be best if I went home tonight. You're my future wife, but you would rather go home? Why? Well, I just need time to myself. We aren't married yet. It wouldn't look good if I stayed tonight. But I told you I don't care what anyone else thinks. We're meant to be together. I know, but my parents are probably wondering where I went off to. I'm sure they'll be excited to hear of a wedding, though. Fine. Tomorrow is still Tanabata. I wish to see you so we can spend the day together again. Like the lovers in the story. Yes. I'm sh I'll am be sure to come here as soon as I wake up tomorrow morning. Very well. Farewell for now, Manigo. Farewell. I don't feel safe. That afternoon, Manigo returned to her home. Her heart beating like a drum, so much had taken place in a single day, it felt like an unbelievable dream. Yet, something still, something still seemed strange about this man in white. Now that the excitement of spending time in his presence had passed, she was left feeling curious, maybe even a little confused. It felt like a typical Hian romance. His poise and intensity drawing her to him like a moth to a flame. But was it wise to trust it all? During their time together, she could not deny she heard the whispers, saw the stares of his handmaidens, even the gifts. The white kimono, the white fan, the white prayer beads, the six gold coins. Yes, even the gifts were too unusual, too strange to excuse a simple manifestations of a lonely nobleman's extricacy. Yet, against her better judgment, Manigo decided to cast away these suspicious thoughts again. Uh, Bleh was a strange, mysterious man, but it was not worth to be so doubtful. Despite it all, despite the foreboding feeling she had inside his manner, she refused to give it any more thought. She awoke the next morning, quickly remembering that today was Tanabata. Today she would be the Orichheim to his Hikabashi. They would be the star-crossed lovers destined to be together. Manigo dons the white pink blossom kimono uh, Blot has given her and dressed herself in the accessories that come with it. Even though the kimono was suddenly out of season, she felt beautiful regardless. She would be a perfect match to the man in white. Manigo left her home early, heading back to she had not told her parents yet about the good news I would of. Wanted to save her, save her the thrill of having a lover for just one more day. I don't believe it. Oh no. The street is crowded with people. I don't want to be rude to them. But I must see him as soon as possible. I just have to push my way through them. I hope they won't mind. I'll try and not push my way through. Excuse me. Ah. Yes. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost for a moment there. We'll get out of your way. Okay, okay. Uh, don't you look fancy for a festival? Um, I just need to pass by. Of course, we'll move. I just want to be able to get it on my... You moved at the last second, for goodness sakes. The market's way too crowded. I'm just going to rest up here for a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. Back Merlo. I didn't know there was a second one of its kind out here. Um, right, I just need to pass by. We can move, sure. Hmm, something sinister is definitely going on. With an outfit like that, you must either be very rich or have a suitor who is. Um, right, I just need to pass by, of course. Everyone seems very, very aware of this kimono. Your kimono is perfectly fine for tonight. Excuse me, didn't the villager guard say that you... But when... But we're looking for a kimono like that. Um, I just need to pass by. I don't mean to be rude. Your kimono just looks... Well, we'll move. 
Hmm, something definitely sinister is going on here. Hey, that kimono looks awfully familiar. Yeah, that looks like the kimono the governor told us to look for. Wait, is it? That's the kimono, the one stolen from the shrine. What are you doing wearing that kimono a minute ago? You do know that kimono looking exactly like yours was recently stolen from the governor's wife funeral shrine, right? I'm sorry, but this kimono is not the one you're looking for. Master Hibigawa gave this kimono. It was not gave me this kimono. I didn't steal it. Uh, snake skin. Who is that? The son of a dynamo, of course. He lives in a mansion down the road. Son of a dynamo? And his name is Hibigawa? Yeah, haven't you heard of him? He was a recluse of a white. For a recluse for a while. So the villagers can't remember him, but... No, I haven't heard of him at all. But you caught, you're caught by the guard, so you don't have any reason to lie. Where does this snakeskin guy live? He lives just through the forest to the east. It's impossible to miss. This man is huge. You're going to lead me to this mansion so I can keep an eye on you. The rest of you should go ahead of us and make sure she's telling the truth. All right, Weaver Girl. Show me the way to Miss Hibagawa's house. I thought something was off. I just knew it. There's just no ways up. It could be a concealment act. Where if we go through this place and then we get to the next map, it may not appear. Okay, it is this. See, look, I wasn't lying. Looks like my men have gone through already. I told you it was here. Just open the door. What? Something doesn't feel right. Sir, the Weaver girl wasn't lying. This place looks gigantic. Something isn't right. But how come I've never heard of this place? This doesn't make any sense. I promise you, Hibigawa is just inside. Please, let's all go inside. I'm sure he'll explain everything. You all go ahead and search the house. I'll escort her inside. Thank you. Such kind... Oh, What happened to this place? What were you doing in here? This place now looks desecrated. I don't understand. Just yesterday it was... It was what? It didn't look like this. No, 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 no. It didn't look like this. You must have been imagining it all. But... Well, my men, I didn't think they would go deeper in the house yet. Hmm... This place had seen better days. Oh dear me, we've walked into some trap, have we now? Well, the floors certainly are desecrated, if one may say. This place is huge, but it was lit up like the 4th of July yesterday. It minus the, um, the fact that it's not actually on fire. But the lanterns are still as they should be. Manico tried to open the door, but the wood was so warped it remained firmly stuck shut. What is it with this place? What have I walked into to deserve such hos no, hostility? So it's a bit like a maze now, isn't it? Hmm. What is it with this place? Manigo can hear haunting whispers beyond the rotted partition. Yes, this is happening much too soon. If only he had found her just before Oban. So a particular trance, a particular, a particular ritual, a particular ritual, a particular event. Well. As much as I'd like to say that this is a wonderful place, it's actually become quite decrypt and haunted. Yes, I would like to put it's in here and whisper. It's too bad she looks so nice in that kimono. At least she dressed for her funeral. Hee <laughs> hee I knew it. Oh, uh, so warped. So freakingly warped. But this one isn't. It's like a one-way linear guide for the house. Well then, it certainly is not for the weak. 
to just roam around a place like this without feeling slightly hesitant. Wait a minute. Are there whispers through this? Yes. I really thought he was going to marry her. A human? With a master? Ridiculous. Yes. It seems all too good to be true now, doesn't it? Uh, ha ha. What are you all doing? Are you done searching my house or just lazing about like a bunch of fools? Excuse me, sir. We went through each room quite quickly, but... What is it? But I don't know what to tell you. But we all have a very bad feeling about this last room. A bad feeling. What are you, a bunch of children? We're the governor's guard. And you're frightened by an abandoned house? One of the men is the brother of a monk. And he swears there's something evil about this room, sir. Something evil? So you're telling me you're afraid that there's a demon or an Uri or some other nonsense back there? That's... This is ridiculous. We're going in that room, and if you all don't follow my lead, you can all go cower in prison for failure to obey an official. Manigo, you will have to come with us to finish the search. Your defense of the stolen... Sorry, for the stolen kimono has yet to be proven, you know. Yes, sir, I understand. Good, just follow us. Hmm. What terrible things have I got myself into? I am about to say that the longer Manigo spent in the mansion, the more scared she felt, yet the glow of the lantern felt oddly comforting. Quite. I am not... Hmm. This hall, where we spent all that time together. It smells like death in here. A perfect place for an evil spirit to hide, I tell you. Stop being such cowards, let's get on with this. Yes, sir. Excuse us. Well, would you look at that. Oi, you in front of a Tokamano. Hey! We're part of the Governor's Guard. Don't ignore my commander. Manigo, is this that snakeskin guy you were talking about? If he doesn't listen to me soon, I will... Manigo. Why are you sending these pitiful loots after me? Pitiful loots? Do you even know who you're talking to? Manigo. I thought you wanted to be my bride, Manigo. Don't you love me? Um, well, after all the time we spent together, after all the gifts I gave you, this giant beautiful mansion you came, you show you can live the rest of your days in. Obedient handmaidens to be at your everyday beck and call, to pamper you like the woman I would have made you become. We swore a thousand years. No, we, no, we did not swear. You just say those words by yourself. That's not an oath. An oath is decided by two people solemnly. You're supposed to be my bride, my Oeheim. We're destined to be together forever. Did you? Did you um, steal this kimono? Did I steal what? This kimono is the only one of its kind, and someone stole it just the other day. You stole this from the governess's funeral shrine, didn't you? I thought you were smart of this, Manico. You sent a trope of boorish guards to my home, reject my love, and then accused me of petty thievery? Inciting your future's husband, Eerie, is not a smart thing to do. Just, just admit that you stole it, every person in the village recognises it. If this belongs to your late wife, why would the guards be searching for it? Why would they threaten to arrest me just by looking at me? You stole this kimono and now I'm going to be sent to prison for your crime. I'm losing my temper with you, Manigo. A faithful wife shouldn't speak that way to her husband. You're not my husband. We're not married, and you gave me a stolen corpse's burial gown for a gift. In fact, all of your gifts were suspicious, now that I think about it. White kimono, white prayer beads, white hand fan, six gold coins, and that umbrella. Honestly, it felt like you were dressing me for a funeral. How interesting. First of all, you swore your love to me. I am your husband by that alone. Second of all, none in the village knows who you are. 
You told me you're the son of the Dynamo, but the town guard can't even place your name and this house. What happened to it? Why did it look like this? Was this all fake? I told you guards. No, I, to I told the guards that you would sort this out. But now I look like a fool and a liar, and now I might get arrested for it. I'm not going to jail for something so so stupid as this. Stop letting these idiots cloud your senses. You're my bride, Manigo, and your kimono is a beautiful treasure, not some stolen trash. You're acting completely hysterical. And you're ignoring everything I'm saying. Because you're making an embarrassment of yourself. You're making me very, very angry. You do not want to make me angry, Manigo. Just admit that you stole this kimono and you're just some, some, some lying snake in the grass. Hey, you two calm down. I'm done listening to a bickering. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't have time for such childish games. Either the two of you will calm down and come with me quietly to sort this out, or my men and I will drag you out of the door. Why don't you leave yourself out of this, you perjurant fool? And you, Manico? My heart is about to burst out of my chest. Your heart's words are wounding it so. I told you. I told you to watch your tongue. I'm so angry with you. I could just... Just... Swallow you, Hall. So he is an evil spirit. A serpent. He's a serpent. All of you run. Manigo, run now. That's a good idea. Manigo. We'll try to hold him back for as long as we can. You get out of here now. We'll catch up to you later. But what if he tries to eat you? Don't concern yourself with that. Just get moving as quickly as possible. Oh, okay. Hey, lady. Ah, you're serving too. Yes, I've been serving master for over a hundred years now. Don't eat me. Oh, I won't eat you. In fact, I have a proposition for you. Right now, right when all of this horror is happening... Don't worry, if he really wanted to, he would have eaten you all by now. Master loves to play with his prey, you see, and so do I. I just want to play a game on my own, lady. What was it? It's very simple. Just return all six gifts to the spirits you took from, to, took them from in this manner, then return to me, and I will let you go. You know God's escape. That's oddly generous, but if you don't finish and come back to me in exactly four minutes or less, Master, and I will eat every last one of you. So you ought to get started. Get going. Oh, for goodness sakes. Um, spirits, spirits, talk to the spirits. Ah. Uh, spirit. Why can't I walk through there? Yes, returned them. We need to be quick about this. I'm not excited for my demise. Um, okay, so not in this room. Um, where do I go now? This way, probably. Manigo, where did you go? I, I did not go anywhere. Yes, I, yeah, I am. And I have time to talk to you two as well, because I feel like this is quite a tight limit. Then there's you over here. Hope you're the one. Yes. Mm. I wish to stay and chat with every one of you, but I must be going. Another thing as well is how am I going to be able to get over there? Come back! Don't you know that I love you? I don't want an early funeral, thank you very much. Serpent lust. Yes, I'm giving you a book back I'm not wanting these putrid gifts hmm I know that 1000 years man ago I don't care about the length of time I just want to return these I think that's it no, got the hairpins left. Hmm, it was all from a corpse, yes, I know. 
I have a fondness of... Yeah, I know, I know. We know that you tricked me. I knew this was a, a trick all along. Okay, so we've got... You can't escape. We're destined to be together. Oh, gosh. We have to... We have to go all the way back around. But luckily, we don't have to speak to anyone. I've returned all the gifts. Oh, my. Okay, that's a bad idea because we can't proceed through... Uh, do we have enough time to go around? I think we do. Bloody warped doors and all. Right, what, have ex what an experience so far. Hmm. Please don't go. Hmm. If you really are so powerful, then how comes you don't try and wipe us all out? immediately warped then how do I go oh you just go through from up here that's right we've got a minute to spare and the only way we can do this is by going around you speak every 30 seconds it looks like I'll eat you whole that doesn't sound disgusting and warped in any way shape or form I wonder if this game has multiple endings. I've done it. I've returned every gift I was given. Oh, so you have. You did it. Now please help us. You overcome the challenge I gave you fairly, so fine, I'll help you like I said I would. Everyone. I will give you one chance to flee from this place before my master eats you. So run. Run as fast as you can. Flee. Flee. Manigo. Uh, do you really think you can run for me? Step aside. Run, you fools! They all ran ahead of me. Stop running, Manigo. I'm glad it's automated. Stopped by doors. I feel like this tale would not end well. As long as we get out of the house, we're fine. Usually these scenes have a spear of influence. We left her behind. Do you think she was eaten? We cared too much about ourselves. Stop your whining. Her death wouldn't have happened if... Manigo! Manigo, you survived. Yes, and all of you escaped safely too. Uh, everyone? I'm not one to say this often, but I apologize for not believing you. Well, they tricked all of us. I don't blame you for how things went. Look, look at it. Look at the mansion. Is where, where it was. Where it was. Now it's gone. It's all gone. How could it be gone? What if we were just imagining it this entire time? It wasn't just a dream, was it? Whatever it was, it wasn't normal, but we're done, and it's over. Let's get out of this rain. Um, we should go with the guards as well. Don't. Don't just go back. Don't just go back to where you came from, okay? <laughs> Let's just wander back into the snake's den. Why not? Mandigo and the village guards safety, safely returned home. She explained everything about the man in white to her family and the governor of the region. The governor ordered a monk escorted by a group of guards to exorcise the mysterious mansion, yet they only happened upon the vacant lot where the house once stood. Since that terrifying night, Manigo chose to avoid men and disclose the advances of suitors. She feared that they would reenact the same seduction the snake demon had performed on her. However, as years passed, Manigo could not deny that a humble farm hand who delivered cotton for her loom weekly had inexplicably caught her eye. The two of them quickly fell in love, a love she had never ex once experienced, but no, deep in her heart, but it was genuine and true. And as quickly as the love blossomed in her heart, her fears and grudges slipped away to the mists of her memory. Now, the man in white was truly no more.
a video game adaption of Jizz I Know In. It probably is like a novel or a manga or an adaptation of some sort of media form. But I don't know how to truly originate its origins. But yeah, this game has made my bleed and I would recommend checking them out as they've made some other games in the past. Um, they made Huntress of the Hollow and the unfortunate closure of the remake of The Looking Glass and Flesh Child, which are two other really nice games. One of them is quite a traditional Uminiki fan game called The Looking Glass, and the other one is a non traditional fan game called Flesh Child, which kind of has the same basic like feel as Uminiki, but still has its um, unique aspects about it. Well, this game is related to a bit, but, but, oh, I've missed out that part! Damn it! <laughs> I just saw Umaniki try to read that bit, and I couldn't as I was talking away. The end. So that was quite a nice little game. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for making it Bleat Div. And if you're watching this, thank you very much. So. Visit the bonus room, absolutely. It would be rude of me not to. Ah, oh, welcome to the bonus room. In this room, I provide as many footnotes as I could about the Japanese cultural topics this game covers. Please feel free to talk to the footnote characters in the room. You may also contact me directly by checking the howtoplay.txt file in the game folder. Thank you for playing the game. Welcome to the first room. Okay, so you both say the same thing. Oh my. Okay. We'll start from the top and go all the way down to the bottom. What's this up here? Nothing? Okay. Dang it. Monica's name is actually the name of a white snake demon in Uda. Telling the. Telling of Jason Noreen. In the original Chinese and Japanese versions, the story is about a woman seducing a man. I switched the genders of the characters because Edo period literature lacked in published female writers and female protagonists in general. In fact, the Edo period is known as the period where female literacy literature decreased drastically, a significant change of the Heian period where it was quite popular. Oh, that's a real shame. In Edo story, the male protagonist receives a sword as a token of a snake demon's love. Since Manigo, the snake demon in the original, is protagonist now, I decided she would receive a white kimono as a gift instead. Though it was a various versions of the story, including the Chinese origin, original, described or named a snake woman, the Lady in White, so Manigo unwittingly became a Lady in White herself. Excellent. Instead of keeping the male protagonist's name, I decided to, 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 to name this character Hakuja, he, it literally translates to white snake snake skin, which is complete nonsense. In many of the Edo period stories we read in class, in class, Japanese authors loved to use nonsense names, especially in comedic stories. The names might sound like nonsense or be spelt that way. For example, in English, a king wants to knight a person and asks for the person's name, the person says, knight, the king would then say, yes, I know you want to be knighted, but what's your name? Or something like that. Yes, many names have the same pronunciations. That's why on the internet, we will be able to disperse the differences by writing them out specifically. Hmm? I thought I pressed enter and I went forward. Okay. Hikuju's design is inspired by Heian era styles, and the light 1980s anime of the tale of Genji. So he has long flowing black hair, makeup, and blowy white robes. Due to the tale of Genji, the Heian era was considered romantic, and many stories from the Edo period noted Heian romances as whimsical. So it definitely justified Hikuji's design. Plus, I don't really like Edo's men's hairstyles. In the original story, the male protagonist encounters the snake woman in the rain and gives her his umbrella to retrieve it later at her home. 
the scene plays out somewhat similar in the game, but instead of a snake being a damsel in distress, he becomes a knight in shining armor that Manica feels impressed by and indebted to. Okie dokie. And that whispers free roam. The designers, sorry, the designs of the villagers were inspired by woodblock prints present in the books we read, along with references of anime such as Spirited Away's Bath House Servants. Nice, Spirited Away is a really nice anime film. Adaptations of Jizo no In, I still don't know if I pronounce it right, often describe times where the snake gives the protagonist co copious amounts of expensive gifts in exchange for his affection. In those stories, the gifts are often stolen property from other shrines or noble houses. I decided to make the gifts seemingly innocuous. Six coins, prayer beads, a hand fan, two books, hair ornaments and a kimono. However, the white juice of beads, the six coins and the kimono hand fan or items one may find at a funeral. Six coins are often left with the dead to prepare them for the afterlife. Okay. The other surfer girls were introduced to have a stronger presence in the game, but decided it would take too much time to give them more than what was presented. The adaptations were read impl impl we read implied heavily that the snake was alone with her single servant and did not have handmaids in that mansion. I added these handmaids to give the game some more interactivity. They also helped cement the idea of Hikuja being a very wealthy nobleman. Shimahabi's name literally means striped yellow snake, so I made her skin a more yellow hue and designed her clothing off of the snake species that is commonly associated with that name. In other adaptations of Jazzy No In, the servant is usually a young girl of about 13 or 14, she often encourages the relationship to continue, or threatens the protagonist to stay with the snake. My. The umbrella design style is called the Jano Megasa, otherwise known as the snake eye design. White and red are bino colors, and also part of the theming I gave the snake colors, some characters, sorry. White is also a common representation of death in Japanese culture. Yes, that's very true. I thought of that as soon as I looked at it, thinking, a white kimono, that's very... That's got a certain theme to it, doesn't it? <laughs> white rain... Sorry, white umbrellas are used by mourners, and the dead are robed in white. Yes, someone is going to their funeral. Much of the dialogue in the game references the Japanese holidays of Ta Tanabata and Obon, both of these holidays take place in the summer. Tanabata is vaguely similar in idea to Valentine's Day, whereas Obolin is somewhat similar to Dai di Moretas, the Day of the Dead in Latin America. I thought that was the case. The story of Tabana, sorry, Tanabata, to put it short, is of a heavenly weaving girl named Uriheim and a father hand named Hikaboshi falling in love. Once married, Uriheim stops weaving, which upsets her father. He forbids them from meeting unless she can finish her weaving by the seventh day of the seventh month. 7th of July. I was about to say August, but that's the 8th. On that day, as long as it isn't raining, Uriheim and Hikabashi can cross the river that separates them and be together once more. There are various versions of this story, but I decided to go with this one since it helped provide some motivation for Manigo's reckless actions with love. I also chose to use Tanabata as a theme because right around the Edo period, Tanabata festivals were growing in size and popularity. Abodin is similar to the Day of the Dead. It's the day, so yeah, it's the day. I was about to say it is. It is the day that the Japanese honor their dead, believing they come back from the afterlife to spend time with their families. Many ghosts and supernatural stories that we read took place on or around Abodin. Open. Hakuja's snake form is really just more of a snake monster form. In the original stories. Where the, where the snake wanted to show itself, it turned into a giant white snake. 
like just a snake. I originally wanted Hikachi to do the same, but it would be way too much work to animate all of that for such a small game. These little blue fly fire orbs are incredibly common in Japanese. Yeah, they're called wisps. When people want to give the impression that something paranormal or supernatural is happening, while the Western world might just call them orbs or will o' wisps, there are many types of blue fire spirits such as Hitodama, Onobi, and Katsubi, to name a few. I don't know what to call the ones in the game because I'm not familiar enough with Japanese cryptozoology. Cryptozoology. For now, I think hated them or generally oh, but only burn is better. My mouth is going <laughs> haywire today. There's too many Japanese writings here, or Japanese-oriented names. The tatami pattern is little ghost is floating around, or has so also has significance too, like a shadow or something. But if it's below and it has color, then it probably means something else. I range on a tatam. Tatami is important in Japanese tile rooms called Wishkash Wakash Wash That name <laughs> The arrangements can indicate a host of different events from simply living to tea ceremonies to regal events. The arrangement I use throughout the mansion is of tip so uh, a type often used for funerals. Imagine that. So I just want to say this right now that that I'm not particularly good at reading Japanese names. I recognize a few names, like Sanada, for example, but unfortunately, when it comes to most Japanese names, especially long ones, I have a very troubled, troubling time being able to pronounce such names. And I'm not making this as an excuse. I have an ASD. I even in general times reading words and sentences have a very difficult time pronouncing sentences so it's not something which I choose to do and if I had a choice I try not to do these mistakes as much as possible but unfortunately that's just who I am it's not a disease or something it's just me and that's a part of me that's part of who I am it's like that person over there, they were born from Ukraine, or that person was born in Japan. It has a similar thing. It's not like, it's not something you can take away from a person. It's just a part of them, per se. Uh, thank you so much for watching me play through this game. Thank you so much for listening to my terrible commentary. <laughs> and thank you so much to the developer for making this game it is a real fiend of beauty if you consider japanese culture and agriculture to be a fiend of beauty because i would very much one day to would love to visit japan i'm thinking about going when the tokyo 2020 olympics come around the corner but i would also like to go there when spring season arrives because of the uh, cherry blossoms that petal through the wind throughout the season whatever <laughs> Damn it, i'm not saying much since now but thank you so much for watching guys and take care of yourselves